Today's video is brought to you from the floor of my studio. My name is Katrina Doran and welcome to my world. This is the world of Doran Studio. Today I'm going to show you the unveiling of the bunny castings that I did in cake pans. So my head's going to leave this video and you'll hear me talking about the process. Thanks for watching. Last week I filled cake pans, these rabbit cake pans, aren't they cute? There's two parts, they're kissing bunnies. Um, anyway, I filled them with a, a cement that is also known as a mortar mix type S. This one happens to be white. And I filled the rabbit pans first. I greased the mold with a cooking spray, a spray on cooking spray. And then I filled them with type S mortar mix and wrapped them in plastic and let them cure for a week. As I was thinking about these molds and realizing that where the ears are, would be a thin mixture of the mortar mix. I came back in and cut a template of fiberglass mesh um, and then used thin set to adhere the mesh to the already cured mortar mix. Now I could have, when I first added the mortar mix to the rabbit, I could have just pressed in a sheet of fiberglass mesh. Alas, I did not do that, so I came back later and did it. And, and the process was that I made a paper, paper uh, pattern that fit inside the mold and then cut out my fiberglass and used thin set, which is a uh, cement-based adhesive to apply the fiberglass mesh to the already cast mortar mix. Now to unmold this, this is an aluminum pan so it has some flexibility and I'm pulling the edges slightly away where it's possible. You can kind of hear it give and pull and that'll help me loosen this from the pan and then I take this and tap it and voila that one really came out quite easy. Here's the rabbit. I think these are so so cute. So I, I unmolded the other one earlier today and you can see I'm going to have these rabbits on my garden wall and they'll be face to face and then I'm going to mosaic around them. Are these the cutest darn things you've ever seen? And actually, if you wanted to make a sculpture out of this, you could go ahead and put these two pieces together using thin set as an adhesive. Let me get the light good on this. And then you could mosaic this as a sculpture your garden or you could just make a concrete garden sculpture. I love bunnies. They're so freaking cute. But I want to go back to my molds because in my previous video I mentioned or I talked about the hole in one. It's an air vent hole for baking in one side of this pan that I covered, I covered on my other set. I covered that hole with epoxy sculpt, and here you can see that I, of course, decorated it. But what that did was it filled the air vent hole so that when I applied my mortar mix here, it didn't come out through that hole, nor did anything get stuck in that hole. Now you can see that after I've unmolded the concrete that there's this gritty stuff. Before I make another casting, I need to wash and scrub all of this out. 
And I think for my next set of castings, I'm going to use Vaseline because it's just a little more of a uh, mold release than I think the spray on cooking spray. So I'm, I'm going to experiment. You can experiment too. Some people just use dish soap. Um, as a mold release, or you can buy a professional mold release um, for your projects. But this is a time where I get to experiment and play with things. I also have another cake pan that's like a basket of flowers, and I'm going to cast those as well. So along my garden wall, it's a, it's a, a what would you call it, a stacked terrace. Uh, there's this concrete wall that I'm going to apply these to. So we're going to have the bunnies facing each other and then a basket of flowers cast in concrete. Oh, look, our movie star's joining the film. There's a cameo of Roberta. Uh, so we'll have the, cat, the two bunnies and the cast flowers all cast in concrete. Uh, I also want these over time to grow moss on them, so I might spray them with gelatin and let moss start to grow on them. And then around all of that uh, will be embellishments with mosaics. So this is going to take a while. I'm going to take my time just casting these in between other activities and projects, and I will catch you up with what's going on in the studio some more. So thanks again for watching and participating in my world. Uh, the more you like my films or subscribe to my channel, the more people get to play along with me and I appreciate you. Thank you.